Hey guys, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, this is episode five of the unrestricted file upload. And last week we talked about uh, how to bypass the file upload functionality with the double extension. Now uh, in today's episode, we're gonna go further down and uh, see like, you know, what if the developer has put some more restriction and how do we still able to be able to bypass uh, this week's lesson is going to be very interesting uh, because it's it's very hands-on and like you know uh, it, it's not like very straightforward so let's get into it now in this example what I've done is uh, I have taken an example of the get image size function now if you guys don't know what the, what the get image size is it's a PHP function and what it does is it get the size of an image and apart from like you know just the size it also gives you a lot of attribute so the get image function will determine the size of any supported given image file and return the dimension along with the file type height width text string to be used inside the normal html image tag now in the previous few example what we had been doing is uh, we were just using like in a php file and trying different stuff like uh, for in the first four episode we tried like uh, putting the like you know php with the gif or other extension which looks like an image uh, we have also done like you know intercept and change the content type and stuff like that but once the developer uh, like you know has this particular function get image size there is no way you can still like you know just use the php or other any other malicious file and get away with it because uh, once you upload that file the get image size will uh, will figure out okay this is not the image it will return the false and your file will never get uploaded and in this lesson that is what we're gonna see how do we bypass this one so let's get right into it uh, let's see, switch over to our VM all right so this is our uh, like you know uh, file upload page for this exercise where I have put in the get image size function now let's try to upload the uh, backdoor file which we had used previously like you know with the double extension and see if it works it should not be uh, because this time uh, we have the G, uh, get image function which would validate whether it's a file or not and it did not all right so what are we gonna do as I said uh, we would have to create a actual like in you know, a GIF file where we can put our comments to it and with the comments we're gonna put the PHP code which will hopefully get executed by the PHP uh, server now how do we do that so let's go here there is a tool called or utility called a uh, Jeffsicle which we're gonna use now first off let's uh, try to find a file uh, like you know any any random GIF file uh, so let's go here and star dot Jeff Uh, this is the one we already created so let me remove this one actually right okay now let's do opt lamp star dot gif oh yeah it should be here okay so there are plenty of it let's just take any one I'm gonna take this one which is a GIF for copy I'm gonna copy the path copy function uh, paste and copy here all right so now we have this GIF file now let's take a look at the uh, metadata of this GIF where it says created by the game and some code all right so what we want to do is we want to add some comments like php code to it so what you can do is you can install the tool called gifsicle i have already installed it so let's uh, uh, go ahead and like you know put our comments to it php echo cyber security tv and then we're gonna put the file name and also <coughs> sorry we're gonna put uh, the output and the input files so and of course we would have to change the name here 
Okay, there are double door parts here. Okay, this looks good. All right, let's check out the new file and whether we were able to successfully insert our PHP code. All right, looks like it is. Now let's try uh, upload that file and it should work. Yes, it is. Uh, because it's a valid GIF file, we just added some uh, metadata to it. Let's try to execute it. Okay, so we see a bunch of characters, but then if you also observe, we got our PHP code executed, which is cybersecurity here, which is great. Now, what we need to do is instead of cybersecurity, we want to include our entire backdoor uh, code to it. So uh, let's do that. Uh, first off, uh, let's take a look at the uh, this one now we would have to remove the like you know new line to to kind of fit into our uh, image file so for that you can use this particular utility where you can say replace new line with space right? and that php dot gif and actually we want to remove from here first. So, oh, uh, wait, I need to do this. All right, so as you can see, we removed this one, right? Now I want to insert this entire thing into our comments using the GIF sickle. So let's do that. Uh, we will use the same thing like comment. Of course, we will have this one and I'm gonna copy this uh, from here and put it right here just make sure everything is correct and again what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <coughs> uh, okay there should be a space here and then yeah, we also need to put sign and to kind of make sure it is in between. And then instead of doing this, let's do this and PHP. We're just gonna override the like you know comments with this one. Uh, let's make sure everything is correct. I think it is. I, let's see. Okay, and let's check out the content of the this file. Okay, it looks like we were successfully be able to copy and paste the all uh, entire code uh, with the and also remove the new line. Now let's try to upload this one. So <coughs> if you go here, let's upload this file again. Upload, yes, it worked. Okay, and then go to the uploads directory, copy this. All right, so this is our little information here. So let's just copy this and see if our backdoor is gonna execute. And it is so uh, this is the way you can um, kind of like you know um, bypass the get image size or any other image function which would validate uh, and there is a capability for you to kind of uh, have your own uh, figure out your own uh, image file and insert the comments and, and upload it to the server uh, and this is a great way uh, to kind of exploit this issue but the main thing you have to remember is uh, once you upload the file you have to know how you can access that file back so once it's uploaded to the server many a times it is not that easy to kind of find out like you know where, where is this file has uploaded because several times what the uh, developer ends up doing it they would change the file name they would like you know give us a temporary name or something so that's something uh, is a really good control for as far as the developer is concerned on how to uh, how to make sure that you are not allowing a user to kind of see through 
their own file so that's a really important thing other than that uh, next week we will also uh, see I think the last test case for the file upload I think we have done uh, several testing and several ways how you can bypass the file upload restriction uh, and then we'll uh, kind of move on and see what are the other uh, like you know uh, testing uh, we want to take on in terms of the penetration testing but yeah uh, this has been great so far thank you guys for your support and thank you for your time i'll see you guys next week bye